Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for... Guess That Character! Ooh. A guessing game that puts your geek knowledge to the test. The rules are as follows. A drawing will start on your screen. You have 30 seconds to gather as many clues as possible. And then when the poll card comes up, vote for who you think the sketch is of. Now it's time to choose the character you think it is. Click the icon in the right hand corner and pick the character that you feel was made in today's guest deck character. Good luck, geeks. And now on to our regular scheduled program. Hey everyone, my name's Feli and welcome to Geek Illustrated where we share the geek side of comics, games, and film. Today we'll be giving you a brief lesson on Nightwatch. Yes, Nightwatch. AKA Dr. Kevin Trench. He was created by Terry Cavanaugh, Alex Vig, and Joe Rubison. And I probably butcher all of their last names. They made him in 1993. He first appeared in Web of Spider-Man 97, which I believe that lasted for three issues. Shortly after that, he got his own solo series. But let's get into the background of that. Dr. Trench, well, he was having a bad day. He witnessed a superhero fight between a costume hero and terrorists wearing invisibility cloaking devices. The super went down, and during that fight, he instructed Dr. Trench to put on the suit. After unmasking him, he realized it was an older version of himself. After a long debate, he finally agreed. He had donned the full costume in an attempt to save his girlfriend. But in his mind the whole time he was conflicted since he just witnessed being a super would end his life. But after coming to terms with that, he decided he can't fight destiny. And he presses forward as Nightwatch. Now if you're wondering how did his future self come to meet his end, in the future Nightwatch is shot in the chest by El Toro Negro. Don't worry, it's not important. And as a last ditch effort, he uses the little bit of energy left in his suit to go back into time to warn himself. But when he gets there, he easily gets distracted by terrorists and attempts to take him down with his last dying breath. And he ends up dying without even warning himself. Now, you may have noticed that he did appear with Spider-Man, but he also has worked with other famous Marvel superheroes. There's Morbius, Venom, Black Cat, Cloak, and Dagger. Now you're probably wondering, well, what was his abilities? I'm glad you asked. Through the use of his nanite embedded suit, he has enhanced speed, strength, agility, reflexes, and invisibility. His cape has powers of its own. It can shapeshift, it can grant him flight, and even at times act on its own to protect the wearer. I know a few of these things sound familiar, but you gotta remember, Spawn was a huge inspiration, aka the baby batter for this. And that has been your brief lesson on Nightwatch. There's also in the rumor mill that they're working on making the movie, but I don't know if that will happen. It would be probably the first time I could think of where a blatant knockoff got his own movie and during the same year that the Spawn movie is supposed to come out so that would be interesting to see but if you like what you saw and want to learn about more things geek be sure to give us a subscribe hit that bell and stay tuned for more until then stay ill geeks <laughs>